Are you meeting expectations or are you exceeding expectations? That is the key questions I've had today. And all I could do was to look at my life and trying to figure out, okay, if you are as a human, as a teacher, as a learner to meet expectations, we're all doing, I think, pretty good. For the most part uh, here uh, in Canada, we are having a roof for the most part over our head. We eat food and we eat enough for the most part. And we have a job that brings us for the most part money so that we can have a lifestyle. So this is meeting expectations. And even on that, I could say paying our taxes so that our government can take care of things. Now, the idea is how can we exceed expectations? So to exceed expectations, that means that you need to go beyond what is expected by yourself, by the different systems around us. And the idea is, do we know what are these expectations enough to know how can we um, exceed them? And here is where sometimes I'm struggling because I know what the expectations are for the most part. And I know I've said for the most part quite a bit, but if I want to exceed them for the, and again, I have to say that I don't always know what to do. And here is uh, the reason why today I was thinking about one of my, uh, one, my one word that uh, guides me, that drives me. And that one word is to learn. Learning has been part of my life. This, that is the, the one thing that drives me. Uh, learning uh, uh, keeps me curious and want to make things better. So learning is the, one of the reasons why I became a teacher. So the whole idea is, okay, what is the next thing I need to do? What is the next thing I need to learn? And I have to say that I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, today, I was listening to a video from uh, Evan Carmichael about uh, the one thing we need to do to succeed. And I'm going to put the link here in the comments below. And it's interesting because learning, the good thing about it is we know what it means. And it's an it's never ending adventure. And this is uh, my call to action for you today. I want you to tell me in the comments below, what is that one thing you, you're planning to learn today? so that you can uh, basically have a better understanding of the expectations you have for yourself, for society and otherwise. And I want you to tell me what is that one thing you'd like to learn more so that you have better tools and better skills to exceed those expectations. And uh, this is why I work as a teacher in, in a classroom. And that's why I always hope that my students will do better than I do in the long run. On this, I'm going to put here a video on my milestone journey, focusing on the fact that we can learn and do more. All we have to do is put our mind to it. On this, I'll see you in the next video.